Hey everyone, it's Tracy. I'm coming at you again. This time with my week 19 post-op VSG update. It is October 2nd, 2017, and I'll get right into my stats. So, I had my surgery at Trinity Bariatrics in Steubenville, Ohio. My surgeon was Dr. Joseph Colella. My high weight was in May of 2016. I weighed 320 pounds. The day of surgery weight was 304 pounds, May 22nd, 2017. And last week I weighed in at 259.1 pounds. This week I weighed in at 256.6 pounds. I still have not broke that 50 pound mark, guys. It is fighting me so hard to get down that 50 pounds. I had a goal, um, and I'll get into that in a minute, but I'll give you my updates on weight loss. So my weekly weight loss was 2.5 pounds for the week, um, 47.4 pounds since surgery, and a total of 63.4 pounds since my high weight. I noticed the difference, I really do. And like I said um, in my last video, if you watched it, um, sorry, my hand in the way, I'm trying to readjust. I have noticed that um, my clothes are fitting differently. I'm actually in a lot smaller size pants, 24, 26, depending on the jeans when I started out. And now I can wear anywhere from a 16 to an 18. I'm comfortable in my 18s right now. So I see it. I'm starting to see it in my face. I get compliments all the time about my face, how thin my face is getting, how my double chin is going, almost nearly gone. But um, I had a goal by week 20 to be at 244. I was hoping, but if I lose two pounds a week and I lose two more pounds next week, I'll be happy with that. It'll break me past my 50 pound loss finally, which, guys, I've been fighting for this 50 pounds. And if any of you watched my videos before, you know that I fought for my 40 pounds. I'm just, like I said, it's a struggle for me. I'm staying around 1,000 calories, anywhere from 800 to 1,200, it depends. So my average is 1,000 calories, which is what my doctor wants me at. My doctor wants me to lose one to two pounds a week, and I'm doing that. But in my mind, I should be losing more weight. In my mind, I should have hit the 60 pounds down since surgery already. It's a mind game, guys. And like I said, in my ultimate final weight, I'd be okay if I'm 199.9. And that is true. I know that for some people they say that, but they don't really mean it. For me, I'm okay with that. Actually, a perfect weight for me is 180 pounds. And that's because I don't want to be too thin. I really don't. And I have a very bony, structured body. At 160 pounds, after I had my son, I had some health issues and I dropped weight rapidly. And I went down to 160 pounds. And I would get bruises on my hip bones and my rib cage from my mattress. So, I'm okay around 180 to 199 pounds. I'm okay with that. Uh, I didn't have really a goal weight so much as a goal size. And that was 12 to 14. If I can get there, I'm okay. I really honestly am. If I can get past that, excellent, fabulous. And I will accept that. But I'm dang sure not giving up, and I dang sure I'm not going to eat whatever I want. I am not going to say that I don't have moments. We all do. And if you say you don't, who are you kidding? We all have to reward ourselves once in a while. The problem is with me is I crave sugar, and I can't have sugar. It makes me very, very sick to have sugar. So, sweet things are a problem for me. However, I have discovered a few things that do not make me sick, such as the cocoa-coated um, almonds by Planners. Yum! <laughs> to those of you who have recommended them, they can become an addiction. Definitely count out your serving size because I am telling you, I eat them 
like a pinch full of unsweetened coconut flakes and a couple of the almonds at a time in my mouth chew them up really good together it kind of tastes like an almond joy it's not quite the same but hey it satisf satisfies me without making me sick at my stomach with the sugar and it works so we all find those alternatives and needless to say guys I don't want to keep this video going very long I really didn't have a lot life is stressful it's chaos I am interviewing tomorrow for my internships well my practicum for my schooling and that's about to start which then it'll be 20 weeks of chaos and working 40 hours a week 20 hours a week practicum and about 30 hours a week in homework reading and all of that for my schooling so it is what it is I will update as much as possible I apologize for the late updates the shaky camera I will be more prepared next week I promise and like I said, I'm not going to kick myself in the butt if I don't hit 244 pounds next week. If I do, fabulous. That's 12 pounds. It is possible. Is it in my cards? Probably not. Guys, I have tried. I have tried to get a bigger week. Three pounds, a little more than three pounds is fabulous for me. If I was to have a five pound or a ten pound week... I'd probably have a heart attack. No, I wouldn't. But it would probably be very shocking for me. But we will see what happens. And I'm going to do the best that I can with my eating this week. I'm already hitting it with the water. And like I said today, I am on time with this update. Finally! Maybe I'll get back on track. Not going to promise anything. But... I love all you beautiful people out there and thank you for all your updates and um, I watch them all. I may not be able to respond to everybody but I have been watching all of you guys. Also I want to say thank you to my new subscribers and for all the support you guys offer. You have no idea how much it means to me and I really do appreciate it. So until next time guys I hope everyone's well. Be blessed. Bye everybody.